How much farther is it, Jared? It's another quarter mile. Oh my gosh, another quarter mile. Day 27. Oh. We're trying to make it to the top of Bighorn through this giant boulder field. We've lost two of our group oh. already. <laughs> we had to eat them for lunch. But oh. I think we're going to make it now. We'll check in when we get to the top. I have no idea where we're going, but this is what this is what trust looks like. I have a bag of gear and I'm following blindly. No, Tammy's never gotten me lost. It's not Matt. We've had flash flood warnings this week, so what do we do? We grab our gear and head off into a canyon. <laughs> Just because weather comes in doesn't mean you can't get out and play. You've got to just pick and choose the proper places. We are in arches and we're picking canyons that are low, low risk for flooding and even holding water. It's about 45 to 50 degrees today. Whoop. Haven't done Bighorn before, so this will be a new one for me. Jeff and Tammy have done it, so I'm just following blindly. What were you saying about getting us lost, Tammy? Okay, Matt, I apologize. Can't follow you or Tammy. First drop in Bighorn. We've got a tree with some webbing, repeat. We've opted to fiddle stick that. We've placed the fiddle stick enough in a spot where it's floating while there's tension on the line, so there shouldn't be any uh, possibility that that's going to get popped out. We've tested it on two repellers now. Jeff's taking the pull cord down with him just to make sure we don't get that twisted. And now it's my turn. Okay. Here we go. Almost down climb all this, it looks like. So, you almost down climb this. What the heck? Whew. It's sand everywhere. <sighs> <laughs> a little too easy. <laughs> I'd like to give this a little whip to pop that knot a little bit. Oh, that was too easy. Here's the uh, next interesting anchor. One bolt and a little arch. Sweet. And the bolt is a spinner. Can't get any better than that, can you? Just enough to hand light myself right down this. Let's call that the key. How far down do we go, you think? To the sand? That looks like more than a hundred. Overhang. 
Watch where you're walking. obnoxious overhangs. Oh, Buku, plenty of rope. See the highway. Life is a highway. I want to ride it. Is this overhang? Okay. Just to avoid rope rubbing on this and really sawing in there even more, I'm just going to go to my knees and put that rope right on there and slide in. Pull the rope. We're gonna come up here to a higher point where we can get that rope up off that rock as we're pulling to help minimize rope damage even more. Instead of pulling directly underneath the overhang, where both ropes are gonna rub up on that, we're gonna pull from way back here and get a good angle on this. Minimize the rope grooves a whole lot more. A lot less tension on that line too, this way. He said this would be a dry canyon. <laughs> Day after a rainstorm. <laughs> Most water Moab's had in a year this week. Now throw me that rope. I'm just wanna know where the anchor is. How is it all down climb? Anchor, you need a handline. That's not too bad. Yeah. 
You need more? Here, here. Okay. Take luck. Take care of the luck you have. Oh, yeah. Can keep me 